Hey guys, this is Jenna from Hill Valley Farm and today we have some very exciting news to share with you. So let's get started. About a month ago, um, a very well-known breeder called my phone and he was offering <laughs> two does to Caden. Um, he met Caden this year and he's, like I said, a very well-known breeder in the Nigerian world. Um, you all will know him as Cade Cockburn from Cade's Little Farm up in Illinois. He offered Caden two does and our funds would really only allow one because it's kind of like the milk machine. We really didn't plan on um, getting any more animals this year, but when that opportunity comes along, you just, you know, it, it's an honor. And it was. That's how Caden feels. It, it's, it's an honor. And so um, today we would like to introduce you to the newest member of Hill Valley Farm in just a minute. So here is Miss Faylene. And we are so, so happy to have her here with us, <laughs> finally. It was a six hour trip up to Illinois from here, and a six hour trip back. But she is here, and she got here last night. Yeah, didn't you? I was trying to show you guys how pretty she is. So, like I said, we are so honored that Cade called and offered us not just one, but two does. And um, Faylene is actually one I had seen a picture of last year. <laughs> and I was thinking about getting on a reservation <laughs> list for Faylene Kids when he <laughs> asked us if we would like to have Faylene. Um, Faylene is a Finnish champion. So... Um, this is not someone that we will be taking to shows. She will be more of a foundation doe um, for Caden. And so um, Caden is, you know, he's an ADGA youth member. He is under our herd name. And um, so anyways, he, you know, he has does of his own and Faylene is now one of those does. So, we are just excited. So, we will be retaining heavily off of her. Um, pretty much any doe kid we will stay here um, for quite some time. And um, po possibly even a buck, um, I would think. So, we are extremely excited. She has her milk star. Um, she, like I said, is a finished champion. We will be... I think she's got an LA score. I'm pretty sure, but um, I need to look that up. But um, we will hopefully be LA'd this year, anyways. And so I would like to get her in on that. And the question is, when will we breed her? We're actually still deciding on that. But we just wanted to introduce you guys to our newest herd member. And we have her in here. You know, again, it's really. <laughs> Yes, it's very overwhelming um, <laughs> to come in as an only doe with a bunch of does. And so um, we have her in here for a little while. Um, and just to make sure she's not super stressed. And then we'll <laughs> s slowly be introducing her to the herd. She's in here at night with the other, um, like the juniors over there in that area she can see them and um Sheila is over there as well at night and so she will be over there uh she's in here at night and they are there at night so it's nice because she can see them and sniff them and then kind of get to know each other that way first we just like to introduce slowly <laughs> so that is Faylene Today we're going to go through part three of our breeding season for 2023 kids. So let's get started. First up is Rolling Meadows J. Mary Mercy to start in. Mercy will be bred with Vista Oaks Recall. Um, and I want to breed them for most likely that first full week in June. And so... Mercy is, this will be her third freshening next year in 2023. Uh, last year she was so gracious to give us a uh, doling and two bucklings. 
I'm hoping for more dolings this year. Um, she is a fantastic milker. She ended up, she's the one who milked 5.9 pounds on her first milk test last year as a, a 2F. And so this is really exciting. Um, she's a very, like I said, a very, very heavy milker and um, one of our heaviest milkers actually in the herd. And so I'm excited about that. She did okay in the ring this year. I couldn't really understand why she didn't do better other than it was just really tough competition. But milk production wise, this is a fabulous doe. So if you're looking for milk production in your herd, I would recommend a bit getting on a reservation list for Mercy's Kids. Um, like I said, I'm shooting for the first part of June um, for her to kid out. So that is Mercy. Next up is Hill Valley or the Sea to Sky. Sky is one of our very upcoming and promising homebred does. She loves to just look at me. <laughs> That's why she doesn't want to stand there and just look the other way. Uh, Sky will be um, bred to blessings that HT legends are made. So she'll be bred to legend. And again, like Mercy, I really want her to kid out at the first part of June. And so that is our plan. She, this year, was a first freshener. She gave us twin bucklings. They looked exactly like her. Uh, of course, we weathered them because she's a first freshener. This year, she has proven herself and will be earning her milk star as a first freshener, both in butter fat and protein. She has been one of my does as well. She has withstood show after show after show. She's been to every show we've went to, and yet she comes home and she milks out like we never did a show fill. And so she is phenomenal in that she can hold her volumes and can and be um, continuous. And um, so that is Sky. Reservation list is, you know, it's open. However, we do plan to retain a doe if she chooses to give us a doling this year. So, like I said, that is Hill Valley or the Sea to Sky and blessings at HT Legends are made. Next, we have Hill Valley, the Hill Valley Z Lila Grace, three star M. Lila is one of my personal favorites. Don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> She is, she was a three-year-old this year. Next year, she'll be four. And um, every class she went into this year, you know, three-year-olds were tough competition. I've had many, many judges say, this is the hardest three-year-old class I've ever judged, and she's right there in it. So there are some really nice three-year-olds out there, and Lila is one of them. And she is just phenomenal. She is the daughter of Irma. And so, and, and um, Fields of Gracie Zambra. And so she's got length to her. That's something that we called him Hiram, uh, put into his daughters. And we love that. So Lila will be bred to Primrose Hill M. Archimedes. And I really feel like that is a really nice, promising um, match. And so that's who we are going with with Lila. And of course, the reservation list is open. There's, you know, we may be, just depending on what Sky gives us, we may be retaining a doe off of that cross as well. Lila has a, a gorgeous udder. Her medial is so there. It's just wonderful. And her daughter keeps wanting to be in the videos. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, Lila also achieved her uh, milk star as a first freshener back in 20. 20 and she with butter fat and protein well this year she is getting it through her volume as well and so the last milk test she was just three pounds away from getting her volume we did another milk test last week and sent it off and so i'm sure that as soon as i get that back she will officially have her milk start in her volume so that will make her any buckling that um lila has from here on out depending on who she's bred to, should be a star B buck. So, uh, re like I said, reservations are open, and uh, she's just a beautiful, beautiful long and level doe. She finished every, every class she went into. She did extremely well this year. We were very pleased with how Lila did. 
and how she looked. And, and she's again, like her daughter, Sky. we took her to every show, yet she would come back home and milk just like you never did a show fill. And if you know anything about show fills, you know, we, we fill them for longer than, you know, the 12 hours for a milk test. As long as, you know, if it's, unless it's like super early in their lactation. But it's a, it's a fill and it makes their body think, oh, they don't need this milk. I'm going to stop producing or I'm not going to make as much. She never did that. She just continually milked out what she was doing before. And so she only dropped when we went down to once a day milking at the end of September. So <laughs> she is just wonderful. I love that she's in our herd. I'm so proud of her and everything that she has done here on our farm. So look for kids in early June with by um, The Hill Valley Z Lila Grace and Primrose Hill M Archimedes. Next is Hill Valley Isabella. Isabella is um, a three, sorry, two year old first freshener. Um, she is still on milk test because she is about to, like Sky, earn her milk star as a first freshener in the butter, fat, and protein categories. Isabella is a like Sky again, uh, one of my up and coming homebred girls that we are extremely excited about. Her udder is beautiful. She has this lovely medial and just her teat placement, and she's so soft and dairy. Um, she really is wonderful. She does not like Mercy standing here. Go on, Mercy. Anyways, um, she can kind of have a mind of her own, but when we set her up, you can see she is really beautiful and gorgeous. Now work with me, Isabella. Now we will be breeding Isabella. See how long and dairy she is. So we are breeding Isabella with Primrose Hill M. Archimedes. Again, I feel like this will be a really nice match. Last year she gave us twin bucklings, sorry, triplet bucklings, and it was on April Fool's Day. <laughs> um, so we are hoping for some does out of Isabella because she is stunning. She finished very high in her class in all shows that we went to. Very, very impressed with this doe all year long. And again, she's one of those does as well. You know, she's a daughter of Lily and um, she was able to hold her milk production up um, until we dropped down, you know, to the once a day milking, which is normal. But anyways, we are just really really impressed with her and um, happy to have her in the herd in the herd she is a daughter like I said of Lily and also uh, Hiram and so again the length is there the width is there she is just a phenomenal gold doe with a beautiful beautiful udder so as a first freshener she was highly impressive so I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like in these next freshenings so look for kids in early June for Isabella and Archimedes. Next up is Vista Oaks, that's what she said, four star M with, and we plan to breed her with, prim, sorry, blessings at HT Legends Are Made. Uh, as you know, she came to the um, herd back in September, excuse me, August, after the Wilson County Fair Kaden, um, I ended up buying this doe for Kaden, and she's from Lacey at Vista Oaks Farm, and she is a sweetheart and a half. Kaden just adores her, and so we will be breeding her for early June again, and like the other does, and we are super excited about her. The um, width in between her ribs and the way they sweep backwards like this. She's so incredibly dairy. Everything about this doe screams dairy. Um, she's beautiful, beautiful confirmation. She does have her dry junior leg and um, she won best junior in show at the Wilson County Fair a couple years ago when she was a junior there. And so we are, she keeps wanting to look at me. Uh, we're super, super excited about her and her kids. I am I'm certain that Kaden will be retaining a doe off of her. 
However, reservations are open um, with the understanding that Hill Valley Farm retains the right for any animal ever born on the farm, but uh, reservations are open. So if you went on the list for that's what she said, uh, definitely let me know. But so we are planning again, like I said, to have her kid out early June. And so that is, that's what she said and legends are made. Okay, so like you learned earlier in the video, we had um, we have added Phalene to our herd, which means there will now be an additional doe that we'll be kidding. And at first we thought, well, we'll just kid her out in June, you know, with the others. But I think we've decided to just go with the next cycle when she goes into heat we will just go ahead and breed her then. And the reason for that is she is finished, as I said in that video, so we won't be showing her, you know, in the fall, we'll just simply be retaining kids. And so I would like to get some spring goats out of her, spring babies. And so um, we are also deciding who we will breed her to. It will either be Archimedes or Legend, um, it just depends on the final counts. Um, I'm looking at the production for both of the, their dams. And so that's what I'm kind of waiting on for the, at the year end. And so she is beautiful, stunning doe. Um, I, I, as, as you saw in her pictures earlier, she has got a phenomenal front end on her. And um, that's actually the first thing that I noticed when I saw a picture of her in the very beginning. Um, not only that, she's got the sweetest disposition, and she's just so lovely. And um, and like I said, she's a wonderful foundation dove for Caden. So she will be bred with either Archimedes or Legend as soon as we possibly can. I'm actually thinking, I was thinking, um, a one, you know, like in April. So hopefully that'll work out for us. But um, so that will be Phalene, and I will let you guys know our decision as soon as we make it. But that is just an exciting addition to our herd this year. So that was part three of our breeding season. I hope you enjoyed it and are as excited as we are. And so we go, and it won't be long now because now it's near the end of October. So the beginning of January, we are gonna have Irma and Freedom do. So those are the first two. And then we go to the end of January with Tuscany and Ellie. And then we go into February, um, several in March, possibly one in April, and then the beginning of June. And so while it is spread out, I do hope that it is a little bit lighter load all at once on Caden and myself especially. It's, um, we're trying to get away from just being completely um, bombarded. So what does it cost to get on the reservation list? Because I keep talking about reservation lists, right? It costs nothing. Um, it's totally free. And how do you do it? You, um, after every video on our on our YouTube channel, I post our website. And so, if you go to that website, you can find how how to connect with us. The easiest and fastest and most surefire way of connecting with me is through text because Facebook messages can be wonky. I've actually had people say they've messaged me and I never got it. Um, and it's not super, you know, easy through YouTube. So I am asking that everyone try and text me and just tell me either what you're looking for and I can help you with a pairing or um, if you have, you know who, what pairing you want. Um, to be on reservation list for just tell me who and uh, you know last year we had some that knew their pairings and some were just randomly this is what i'm looking for um, whatever you think and so it's easier if you have a pairing in mind just time wise for me i do have a list going and i already have several people on it so if you do want on a reservation list definitely um, shoot me a text um, is it a have to basis? Like if you're on a list, does that mean you have to? No, it does not at all. If you move in a different direction um, and by the time that they kid out or whatever, you know, things happen, it's fine. It's just a list for me to know who to contact when these babies are born. And so with that said, we're very, very, very excited about the upcoming 2023 year for us. So definitely be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and also 
thumbs up because that helps us more than you know with our channel. So thank you so much for watching and um, be sure to be watching out for our next video coming up. Until then, I hope you guys have an awesome Goatfield day.